To find the inverse Laplace transform of a quadratic denominator, which cannot be factored, you need to know how to complete the square. Now, first, this middle number, negative 4, is taken half of it, and uh, you get negative 2. That's how you determine this number. Okay, That's the first step. And the second step is figuring out what this number should be. And because the left and right side should agree, Think about what the constant term this would produce. You, you will get negative 2 squared plus some number, right? That has to agree with 13. So to match 13 with negative 2 squared plus something, negative 2 squared is positive 4. 13 minus 4 is 9, so this question mark must be 9. So that's the first step. You have to know how to complete the square. Once you have completed the square, then the next step is to rewrite uh, the Laplace inverse Laplace transform of this thing to rewrite the denominator as the completed square form but also to write the, this extra constant as something squared okay uh, so we rewrite it like this then uh, what's needed is to split this into two fraction in the following form I need it to be split into uh, something times s minus 2 over s minus 2 squared plus 3 squared and 3 times b s minus 2 squared plus 3 squared. In other words, uh, once you do the complete this, completing the square, uh, whatever you get here, you put it up here. Whatever you get here, you put it up here. And you get a times s minus 2 and 3 times b. Uh, and the reason we want to do it that way is because if you look at the table of Laplace transforms, you have exactly these two formats, right? We know that this should be the e to the at cosine bt, and this should be e to the at sine bt. So because we want to invert using these two facts, uh, we want to write it in this form, okay? All right, so let's look at this. Well, immediately you can see that a should be 7 because the only s term that you get is a times s if you look at the right side and that's 7s just looking at the highest order term you can say a should be 7 okay and then uh, what you do is uh, the top because the bottoms agree the top should agree too right so the top should agree and then if you just plug in 2 into s then this just becomes 0 and uh, 14 minus 18 that's negative 4 so you get negative 4 equals to 3b, where if you divide by 3, you get b equals to negative 4 thirds. So you're now very close. All you have to do now is to replace this by this one with b being negative 4 thirds, just like that. And then because this first part is, uh, you know, e to the at cosine bt type, and the second part, 3 over s minus 2 squared plus 3 squared, is of this type. Now you can split this into two fractions with 7 taken out and negative 4 thirds taken out. And you end up with this as your final answer for the inverse Laplace transform.